What's going on friends? Sam Pritch is back once again. I'm at X Laser Lab. They've got a Kickstarter that's just about to launch. This is their brand new machine. It's called the E3. It's a UV laser. And they've invited me out here to look at everything from manufacturing to the prototypes, the actual final models. This is gonna be amazing. Let's get straight on into this one. You are watching a master at work. So the X-Laser Labs E3 has now officially dropped on Kickstarter and it's arriving in two versions. We've got the 10 watt and we've got the 7 watt. And I've been here in Shenzhen in China at their headquarters to see exactly what goes into the design and build of this system before it hits Kickstarter. And let me tell you, the level of detail, precision and craftsmanship that goes into these machines, well, it might just surprise you. So this Kickstarter campaign isn't just a launch, it's a calculated step. The team at X-Laser Labs told me that the goal isn't simply just to raise funds, it's to validate the demand before moving into full-scale production. They already have manufacturing capacity. I've seen it firsthand. But they want to make sure that the market is ready for the laser of this capacity before ramping up. But more importantly, this campaign is about transparency and trust. The E3 isn't a prototype in development, it's a refined production-ready system built entirely under one roof. So over the past few days, I've been touring around the X Laser Labs facility to see what really goes into building the E3. And they manufacture all the key components themselves, from optical modules to motion systems to alignment mechanisms and housing structures. Now getting inducted into the lab made me think of the last time that I toured a factory of this type. And that was of course channel sponsors PCB Way. And if you're a maker and want some cutting edge tech, you already know who you can trust. And that's of course PCBWay.com. For your 3D printing, CNC machining and maker needs, make sure you check them out over at PCBWay.com. But of course, X Laser Labs of course have their lab of their own and it's all about control. This isn't about cutting corners. This is about total control over quality. Very little is outsourced, and that's intentional. It allows them to maintain precise tolerances and ensure that every single machine performs exactly as expected. But what's really impressed me though is the mindset of the team. Professional, focused, and deeply passionate about their craft. You can actually feel the dedication in every part of the build process. So let's get down to it. What exactly is the E3? It's a compact, precision-engineered laser engraver that uses 355 nanometer ultraviolet light, or what's often called cold light. And in simple terms, it means that it vaporizes material directly instead of burning or melting it, which gives you super clean edges, zero smoke, and unbelievable resolution. The engraving area here is set to be around about 150 by 150 millimeters, and the entire machine is designed to be lightweight and pausable and notably lighter than most comparable UV systems. The portability adds real value, especially for small workshops and creators who need a professional grade laser that can easily be moved or stored. The E3 is being marketed as an all-in-one laser because it replaces what normally would require four separate machines, fiber, MOPA fiber, diode, and CO2. And that's thanks to that UV wavelength. It can engrave and mark virtually any material, wood, metal, acrylic, glass, leather, ceramics, and even reflective or transparent surfaces. But I think one of the most exciting features is the ability to perform oxidation engraving. This is where the laser reacts with metals like stainless steel to create vivid, colorful markings without using any dyes or additives. It's chemistry meeting art and the results look incredible. So this, the way this happens is basically the, um, the laser die goes over this and ultimately it changes and oxidizes the metals, which is how you get these vibrant colors. But we were doing a test. We were just running this test to get the right colors. And then we fix out basically which tiger we want to put on. And um, that's the one, that's the winner. Again, this is just a bit of scrap um, metal. So uh, just a bit of steel. Look at that, incredible. So as I've already said, I spent three days with the team here using various tools, including their welding machine, the X1 Pro. And I have to be honest here, that thing is pretty cool. And I also asked them if they would send me one. In fact, I pretty much begged them to do that. But I learned also that it was a Kickstarter that was fully funded and is now one of their top sellers. But it was, of course, the E3 that I was putting through its paces. And of course, I tested the E3 on a wide range of materials. On wood, it produces razor sharp detail without any scorching. And on glass, it can engrave deep and even produce internal crystal style effects, which are absolutely unbelievable. And on metal, it delivers rich oxidation colors that shift with the light. Blues, golds, and purples right on the surface of steel. 
and I even engraved into copper sheeting and onto glass that mounted microchips to create a working LED circuit. How cool is that? So there we go. What really stood out for me here in Shenzhen was the people. It's not a rush product, it's the results of labor-intensive skill-driven development from a team that genuinely cares about what they're building. They're passionate, precise, and focused, and they poured that same attention into both versions of the E3. It's engineered with heart and shows in every component. So next, I sat down with X Laser Lamp CTO Leon to ask him about the direction that they're taking with the E3. We had a really interesting conversation earlier about yeah. why you're going into Kickstarter and what the reasons are for your company for doing that. If you'd like to explain a little bit about that for me. Uh, yeah, so uh, I mean, very first beginning, I mean, since our, uh, the x Photonic establishment, we have been dedicated to the uh, development uh, manufacturing of the industrial grade uh, dark laser pumps or modulus. Yeah. And then after years of development, we are seeing somehow uh, we feel like we have reached the peak of this of this certain small market, but still because the whole market size is limited. So in this case, we would like to expand our you know, annual revenue, expand the whole market. So we have to think beyond the industrial. And in this case, our founders, the whole management team feel like the uh, consumer uh, electronics market is a, a new market for us. It's more promising. Its size is much, much bigger than industrial modular uh, pump products. So also we have technologies in industry, so we can easily maybe by applying this industrial grade technology into the consumer electronics you know, market by combining these two, there will be a new surprise, but we're not quite sure how would this UV laser engravers and we cannot predict the outcome of this. So I think, yeah, Kickstarters provide a very, very good platform for this uh, innovation yeah. like E3, yeah. So after the third day, I sat down at the hotel and really thought about what the product's key strengths are. And in my mind, it's compact, portable, and lighter than other most competing UV units. That ultra fine 0.005 millimeter engraving precision is very impressive. It's cold light UV technology, again, so no burn marks and no smoke. It engraves on more materials than just standard lasers, including reflective and transparent ones. Now that vivid oxidation on color on steel and metal services is just absolutely out of this world. And on top of that, the industrial grade build quality with every element that's made in house, as you've seen inside of this video. It's a fully enclosed class one laser system and really you can't escape engraving into those crystals. That whole concept really blew my mind. So, as always though, it's important to keep things real. UV lasers require regular lens cleaning to maintain optimal performance. And while they can engrave metals beautifully, deep cutting through thick metal still requires a fiber system. And being a Kickstarter launch, early production runs may take time to scale. Though from what I've seen at X-Laser Labs, the operation already feels production ready. So that pretty much sums it up. And as we head towards the Kickstarter launch at the end of October, I can honestly say that this project has certainly impressed me. The E3 UV laser isn't just another laser. It's the result of passion, professionalism, and precision engineering done right. It's lighter, cleaner, and more capable than other most machines in its class and it brings industrial grade results to a desktop form factor. And if you want to see what the future of engraving really looks like, we'll keep an eye on this one. The X Laser Labs E3 laser launches soon, and I'll be here to show you how far this can really go. But until next time, bye for now. You are watching a master at work.